Hi everyone and welcome. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a banner ad in your website. So I'm really excited to show you this because as you know, we're going towards the Black Friday. So you can actually use this technique to create your Black Friday banners and link them to wherever promotion you need to link them to. This episode is made possible by divicake.com. Check out their huge selection of Divi themes, layouts and plugins. The link to that is in the description below. And also, if you want to learn how to design websites using WordPress, I have a 100% free course called WordPress Mastery. The link to that is in the description uh, below. You can go ahead and sign up for that course. And also, if you want to learn how to design websites using the best page builder out there, I also have a course which has a 50% discount. So again, the link to that is in the description below. So go ahead and check it out. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's get started. So let us start by creating a brand new page. So I'm going to come over here to pages, click on add new. Uh, we're just going to call our page new buttons, use the Divi builder, and then we're going to go to the visual builder. Okay, so now that we have the visual builder loaded, we are going to build our design from scratch. So I'm going to come over here, click on build from scratch. We're going to choose a single column and in that column we're going to add a blurb so i'm going to select it okay so this is where we get to choose what we need to add on our blurb so over here this is where we can add our title and also our content okay so over here this is where i'm going to add my offer so i'm just going to say 50 percent off today and then i'm just going to enter and then i'm going to say hurry offer and soon or I can just say offer end soon. So what you want to do here is to highlight this text and give it a heading. So I'm just going to give this head, heading one. And then over here on the bottom, I'm just going to give this heading two. Okay, so this, is ju this just makes it easier for us to go in and customize this text later. Okay, and then over here, we can also say perhaps maybe this could be a Black Friday sale or this could be a one-time sale. Or flash sale so I'll just put flash sale for now right so now that I have all this information the next stage now is to come over here to image and icon and um, for this we're not going to need this image so I'm just going to delete this and I'm going to click on use icon and over here is where we can choose our icon so you can go with any icon you need here so I'm just going to go with uh, this one right here and then over here on the background this is where we can get to choose the background that we need to use so this gives us a lot of flexibility because we can add images we can add solid colors and even hover states so let me show you how to do that so first of all we're going to add a background color and this is going to be black and then i'm going to come over here to the third tab click this plus button to add our image so for the image i'm just going to add this car right here okay click upload an image so that's the car that we're going to use for this promo. Uh, I mean, for actually for this button. Okay. So now that we have the car in there, we need to do a few more things. So I'm going to come over here to the blend mode and set this to multiply. Because ideally what we need to do here is to dim this image so that the text that we have here is easier to read. So now I can go back to the background and drop the opacity. Okay. So we can just drop it until we can just about see the car. So I think that works fine. Okay, now we need to also add a hover state. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here to on, on to this little um, icon here. So I'm going to click on it and then I'm going to go on the hover and this is where we get to choose a different color. Okay, so I'm just going to click in here and let's go with, uh, let's try. Okay, let's go with that. So what we need to do here is to just to make sure that uh, we can see a distinct change when we hover over the button. So let me just show you what that looks like. So this is the default and that's what it will look like on hover. Okay. So pretty cool so far. So the next stage now is to go in and uh, customize this text. So I'm going to come over here to design, click on text. For the text orientation, I'm going to center this. 
so that everything is in the center. Right, so we might as well change our text color from dark to light so we can read everything on it. Okay, great. So now let's start customizing this. So what you could actually do here is to hover over this text and uh, this could help you zone in and edit that specific item. So I'm going to click here on this brush tool and then I'm going to come over here to my title font. We're going to change this to Poppins. And then over here for the regular uh, we could, uh, weight, we're going to change this to bold all caps, and then we're going to add some letter spacing. Okay, so I think that looks okay. So maybe 14, maybe just a little bit less. Okay, 12 is fine. Next, let's go and edit this text here. So I'm going to click here on this little uh, brush tool again. So this is where we can get to change our font weight and our font type. So I'm going to come over here and set this to Poppins. And then over here from regular, I'm going to change this to bold. And then I'm also going to come over here on the body line height and just adjust that. Okay, so I think 1 EM is fine. Next, I'm going to increase this text size. Now let's make some customizations to our icon. So I'm going to come over here and uh, we can place this item, this icon to the left if you wanted to, just like that. So I think that looks even much better. Now let's go in and add some breathing space around this text. So to do that, we need to come over here to spacing and then we're going to add some padding. So I'm just going to increase, I'm just going to activate my chain so that whatever value I add in here is going to be applied to both sides. So I'm going to start off with 2%, and then I'm going to increase it. So now you can see more of the car, which is great. And then I'm just going to take this 17%. So if we needed to, we can actually add a bit more here like that. But of course, in this case, there's no need to. So our banner here is uh, the right size. Uh, so what I may also want to do here is to adjust the bottom because I can see there's enough space on the top here, but not on the bottom. So I've de deactivated the chain. So now I'm just going to increase the bottom here and reduce the top. Right, so our banner is looking good. So the next thing you want to do here is, let's say you want to reduce the size of your banner. Well, that's straightforward. All you need to do is to come over here to sizing. Here we have our content width, so we can actually increase this if you wanted to, if you had more information to go in here. And But the most important thing here is the width, so you can actually reduce the width by just dragging this like that. Okay, so you can make it actually nice and small. You can make it long if you wanted to and then move this text over here to the left a bit so in this case i'm just going to make this uh, landscape so i'm going to leave it at about 80 percent right so let's work on our text now so over here i'm going to go into my icon and change the color so now it's nice and white so right now as i'm looking at this there's a lot of space between uh, this text here and what we have here on the bottom. So let's go ahead and fix that. So I'm going to come back over here, go into text, and then I'm going to come over here into the text mode. Okay, so I'm just going to delete that. And now my text is now closer. That's even better. So I'm going to come back over here to design. I'm going to click on this uh, little brush tool. So now I can adjust my line height just a little bit. So I think 1.2 is much better. So now we have our flush sale and we have this offer like that. Okay, so that's looking great. Uh, we can actually move this if you wanted to, but uh, I'm pretty much happy with where it is because I really want this card to be visible, okay? Because that's the main item that we're promoting. Right, so now that we have all this text in here, to make this link, what we need to do is to come back over here to content. You want to add it right here where it says module link URL. Okay, so I'm going to paste that here. And then this needs to open in the new tab. So just make sure it's a module link that you select and then save that. Exit the visual builder. And then now we can see the hand which shows that this is now linking. So if I click on this, this should take us to Div University in a new tab. So I'm going to click on that. And there we go. So now we are on Div University. 
So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow my YouTube channel. I create a lot of tutorials on how to design websites and also how to turn your website into a money making machine. So if that's your stuff, this is the YouTube channel for you. So go ahead, subscribe and hit the bell notification and uh, I will see you soon. Take care and I'll see you in the next video.